Earlier today, Government of Canada experts led a wildfire forecasting briefing to share what the data is telling us this wildfire season will potentially look like in the months ahead. As of today, there are 474 active wildfires being responded to, and over 3.4 million hectares have been burned thus far this year. In 2024, we are already above the 25-year average of area burned. For August, the predominant area of anticipated activity includes Yukon, Northwest Territories, British Columbia, Alberta, and parts of Saskatchewan, approaching the border with Manitoba. It is not unusual for Western Canada to see high levels of fire activity this time of year. However, forecasting uh, anticipates that activity will be above average in parts of the West to well above average in areas in BC and Alberta. In September, uh, above normal wildfire activity is expected to continue from Western and Southern British Columbia through the Central Prairies and Western Manitoba. This, of course, underscores the importance of wildfire mitigation and of adaptation. A few months ago, we joined together with the provinces and territories to collectively launch the Canadian Wildfire Prevention and Mitigation Strategy, which recognizes the importance of mobilizing all of society actions toward wild, uh, wildland fire resilience. The strategy identifies activities that will allow us to proactively and collectively plan and prepare for wildland fires, recognizing that contributions and implementation will vary across Canada based on existing programs and diverse needs. As most folks know, last summer Canadians experienced the most destructive forest fire season in our country's history. And just a few weeks ago, we all saw the devastating images out of Jasper. And we mourn the loss of a firefighter who sacrificed his life battling this wildfire. Wildfires have, as you know, occurred across Canada for many, many years. What is new is their frequency and their intensity. Looking at September's above normal fire activity is significant because while wildfire season often winds down at the end of August or early September, this data points to longer and more extreme fire seasons. Area burned by fires is growing. This is pushing what we consider normal to a whole different level. The science is clear. Climate change is fueling these fires. 